Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal and this is Crystal K Beauty. I have gained quite a few new subscribers recently, so I just want to say a welcome right now in the intro of this video. Today we are going to be talking about a brand new mascara that just launched. Now I don't really feel like I have a whole lot about mascaras on my channel and I really feel like I should be incorporating that more. I try out a ton ton of mascaras. You guys, I am probably one of the world's most critical mascara critics there are. I am so hard on mascaras unless it really wows me and I see like, damn, like a huge effect in it. To me, it's just like, nah, doesn't cut it. I feel like there's so many mascaras on the market that claim to do so many different things that it is really truly hard to find one that actually does what it says it's going to do. Now, this particular mascara I did play with yesterday yesterday. I did wear it for quite some time. I'm not a huge fan of doing first impressions. Um, I think they're okay. Sometimes I, I do do them, but they're not my favorite. With certain products, I really feel like you have to really wear them, put them to the test before I can even come on here and even talk to you guys about it. I know that we can do check-ins and all that kind of stuff, but to me, I don't know. I like to just get a really good thorough idea of a product. Now, right now, I don't have any mascara on my lashes. I haven't curled them. I haven't done anything. I have a full face of makeup and I feel like looking in my mirror right now that I look completely naked like a crazy person. So let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about this mascara. So the mascara I'm talking about is the new Benefit Mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang. I did pick mine up in the smaller travel size. Typically with high-end mascaras, I do like to start this way first. That way if I really don't truly like it, I didn't waste a ton of my money. So here's what the packaging looks like. It is the same for both the smaller and the larger size. I think the packaging is adorable. I like the idea behind this, like a big bang, like boom, out of this world, amazing lashes. At least that's the impression I get. And I think that's what they were going for with this packaging. This smaller size is $12. If you want the full size, it is $24. I believe this is available at Sephora Benefits, you know, direct website. I'm not 100% sure if Ulta has this, although I did not see that this was a Sephora exclusive, so I'm pretty sure Ulta will carry it as well. This mascara makes a lot of claims. It says it's 36 hours of full blast volume. It says 90% of people saw dramatic volume and 92% said it lengthened their lashes. Now this is smudge proof, flake proof, water resistant, and does give an intense pitch black color. It also says here it is made of some of the lightest known materials and that is actually used in astronaut spacesuits. So that's kind of fun and interesting. It goes along with the theme of the mascara being Big Bang. Again, I can kind of see where they are going with this and how they were inspired to make this product. So it says it's full blast volume, big volume with 360 degree reach, streamlined to easily reach root to tip, corner to corner, upper and lower lashes, gravity defying volume, layers easily for bigger and bigger impact, massive volume without weighing down your lashes. So it says here it has aero particles in it, which is found in aerogel. So that must be something that they put in spacesuits or something like that. That's kind of interesting to me. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the wand, or I should say what the actual mascara packaging looks like. Now again, I did say I did pick up the smaller version of this, but the larger two does look exactly the same. I like the handle on this. It's kind of cute. And I like the colors too with the pink and the silver and the black. Anyways, let's take a look. So here is what the wand looks like. Now, last night when I was playing with this, I noticed that this wand is like extremely flexible. Like look at that, which I think is kind of nice because sometimes some of these more, I should say, what do they call this? Plasticky wands. They don't have the actual like hair fibers, they're more of the plastic silicone type applicators. It can be very pointy and very stiff and kind of hard to use. So I like that this one has a more flexible wand. And there is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and curl my lashes quickly here. I have to curl them. 
Now, here's what I'm gonna ask you guys for some suggestions. Number one, while I'm cur curling my lashes, I really wanna film a get ready with me Q&A video. In the comments below, ask me, literally ask me anything. Obviously within reason, I don't want any weird, creepy questions, but ask me anything. It can be, you know, do you need advice on something? Yeah, just ask me anything. If you have questions about makeup, anything about me personally, if you're looking for advice on something, I wanna do like a full, fun, open Q&A. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a Valentine's Day look. Or maybe we'll just do a get ready with me, but whatever, whatever I decide to turn it into, ask me your questions down below. Oh, and my other question is, if you guys know of good eyelash curlers for people with very almond shaped eyes like mine, let me know in the comments below because for some reason these outer lashes right here, I can never get them to fit in my curler. So everything gets curled except those outer lashes and it drives me nuts. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in to an uncomfortably close position so you can really see this mascara. All right, so now that you are close, zoomed in on my face, you can probably see all the fine lines and wrinkles in my forehead, but hey, guess what? None of us are perfect, no excuses there. So let's go ahead and open up this mascara and I can even get a better look at the wand. And then let's go to town. So I'll be looking down here because this is where my mirror is. Now, like I said, I tried this mascara last night. Wait till you guys see what this mascara mascara does. That is one swipe of the wand. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Now I haven't dipped back in yet. This is just still using from the first time I went in. So that is one side. So this is my right side. That is insane. You guys, I have to be honest. This is the first mascara that I have ever used that has this much of an intense impact with just one dip of the wand into the product. I don't see any transferring on the top part of my lid at all. You can see this is the before, this is the after. Let's go ahead and try putting on one more coat and see what happens. Again, you can see how the wand like is flexible and it moves with your lashes, which I really like that. Now you guys know that one of my holy grail mascaras is the Roller Lash from Benefit. I love, I love, 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 love Roller Lash. What I feel like that mascara is perfect for is that one really does help achieve, you know, keep a curl to your lash. That one is a little bit more where you can get away with. You can build that one more. The first coat is going to look very natural. It will lengthen and it will separate, but that one you do have to build up a little bit more to really get volume. But that one, that's one of my favorite mascaras. But I do have to say that this one might take first place ahead of Roller Lash because this is insane just the fluffiness. I mean, this really mimics a false lash look. So there you have it. There is the Big Bang Bad Gal Lash from Benefit. Now I did wear this all day yesterday. You guys, this stuff does not flake. It does not crumble. It does not bleed down the eye. It does not transfer to the lid. It works beautifully and it really does last all day long. You put this on, this baby is staying put. Now, one thing I will say, the downside to that, I'm usually not a huge fan of like water resistant mascaras because I hate having to really work a product off when I'm ready to remove my makeup at night. So I would say to you have to use a legitimate eye makeup remover for this. One of my favorite products to remove my makeup is the simple micellar water. That usually breaks up everything. No, I had to, I think I went through like four or five soak makeup pads, makeup remover pads with the micellar water, water on it to actually remove this mascara. So that is the one thing to be aware of. This stuff stays put. It is very hard to remove unless you are using an actual maybe even oil-based eye makeup remover if you wanna remove it with ease. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out. I'm gonna finish up my other eye so I don't look like a crazy person, and then I will be right back. All right, so both eyes are done. So as you guys can see, that mascara is intense. 
it is, it's one of my favorite mascaras so far. After testing it out yesterday, seeing how long it lasted, the intensity that it gives my lashes, I actually posted a picture, a teaser picture on Instagram last night showing just my eyes and I was like, hey guys, testing out a new mascara and I got a lot of good feedback on it. Like people were like, what the hell is that? Is that the new Benefit mascara? One of my subscribers asked me and it was really hard to keep a secret but I wanted to make sure I could sit down and film this first before letting you guys know exactly what it is. So final thoughts, love this mascara. I think it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It feels lightweight. It leaves your lashes fluffy, volumized, lengthened. To be honest, this is the first time I have truly felt that a mascara has this kind of effect. Like this, this blows every other mascara that I personally have tried out of the water. I've tried the Dior Show Mascara, I've tried Lash Paradise, Roller Lash, Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, Lights Camera Flashes, oh my gosh, what else? Physician's Formula, that one that comes in the green container, Roller Lash, Better Than Sex, that Essence 24 Hour Volume Mascara. If you guys could see all the mascaras I have in my drawer that I have tried, you would be shocked. They look fake. I look like I have fake lashes on, at least as close as I could get to fake lashes. You guys know what I mean. I love the wand. I love that it's flexible. I love that it's tapered on the end. I think that's great for getting your lower lashes, fitting in more in the inner corners. It also makes it nice so you can actually fan out the outer lashes as well. So you have like that nice precise tip. The way that the bristles are on there, the way they're separated, how the formula grabs each lash and just instantly lengthens. I love that you don't need to put a lot of effort. You don't have to keep layering and working and working just to get that desired volume or that length it's incredible and and the lasting power too so this mascara gets a 100% yes from me when I run out of this small one I will 100% most definitely be purchasing the full size of this so leave me a comment down below if you guys have tried this mascara if this makes you want to try it what are your thoughts what did you think of my lashes? Let me know. Also, you guys remember, leave me questions down below. I do want to do that Q&A. You guys can ask me anything. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, you guys know if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that so much because it lets me know if you guys are enjoying my videos and that you're interacting with me. Share this video if you like it. And of course, before you go, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support helps me a lot. Thank you guys. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.